When your optical explorer starts misbehaving, it is time to perform a recovery to get the software back to how it should be. Here is how. Please note that once the recovery operation is started, it cannot be cancelled. Make sure to transfer any data that you wish to keep prior to starting the recovery operation, as it will be permanently lost. For example, you can transfer the data that you wish to keep using Expo's Fast Reporter 3 by connecting a USB cable to a PC with Fast Reporter 3. Follow this procedure carefully and connect your unit to a power outlet using the provided USB power adapter when you are instructed to do so. Electrostatic discharge or ESD damage can cause complete or intermittent equipment failures. Always use an ESD preventive wrist or ankle strap when opening your unit. Ensure that the anti-static strap makes good skin contact and that the end of its wire is grounded properly. Never touch any component inside the unit other than those identified in the procedure hereafter, either with tools or your fingers. Ensure that the battery level of your unit will be sufficient to start the unit when instructed to do so. There should be no red battery icon on screen or a red and steady LED on the unit's front panel. To get started, turn off your unit. If applicable, disconnect the USB cable. This is necessary to be able to open the unit as explained hereafter. Position the unit so that its front panel rests on a flat surface, such as a table. On the back of the unit, using a 2.5 mm hex socket screwdriver, turn the four screws counterclockwise until they are loose. You can remove the screws completely if you want, but you can also leave them in their holes as long as the back cover can be moved. Hold the back panel by its sides and pull it up to remove it. Slide your left hand under your unit so that you can have access to the on-off button, being careful not to touch inside your unit. You may find it helpful to slightly move the unit towards the edge of the table so that its on-off button is more accessible. While pressing and holding the reset button, push the on-off button. Release the on-off button as soon as the unit beeps once, but continue to hold the reset button as long as the unit's LED is lit or for about 10 seconds. To avoid damaging your unit, do not use metallic objects such as the ball of a pen to push the reset button. Always use your finger or a non-metallic object. Place the back panel on the unit, making sure that it is aligned properly with the front of the unit. The sides of the back panel should be flush with those of the front. There should be no gap between the back panel and the front of the unit. If necessary, slightly move the back panel until alignment is correct. Using a 2.5 mm hex socket screwdriver, turn the four screws clockwise until they are tightened. This will secure the back panel into place. Turn your unit over so that you can see its touch screen. Do not turn off your unit while the recovery operation is underway. Doing so may damage your unit. Damaged units will need to be sent back to Expo for repair. Connect your unit to a power outlet using the provided USB power adapter. This will ensure that your unit remains powered on during the whole recovery operation. Read the warnings and then tap factory reset. If you prefer not to perform the recovery operation for the moment, tap cancel. When the operation is complete and the application prompts you, tap restart. Once your unit is restarted, set the operation language, read and accept the Expo license agreement, configure the date and time, and select the desired distance units as you did when you first received your unit.